Hi, everybody, and welcome to World Championship Wrestling. I'm Tony Schiavone, your host, and you're ringside with the NWA, the Major League of Professional Wrestling. As we open the program today, we want to tell you right up front, we have a great program for you, but also we're going to take a look at an incident that has shocked the wrestling world. You saw at the top of the program just a little clip of what had happened. It deals with Ronnie Garvin, the Midnight Express with Jim Cornette, and of all the incidents that have taken place in professional wrestling, this, to me, is the most serious we got to look at it later on. It's something we don't like to look at, but we have to. And our thoughts right now are with the man with the hands of stone, Ronnie Garvin. You saw just a portion of it. We'll take a look in its entirety what happened last weekend. A very, very serious injury to Ron Garvin. All the top stars of the NWA are here today. We're talking about the four horsemen in an eight-man tag team match. All the top stars, and we'll start it off with a boogeyman, Jimmy Valiant. Roar for the boogeyman Jimmy Vine against Thunderfoot number two in our first event on World Championship Wrestling. And the boogeyman. Okay, Jimmy Vine. That one, which obviously was a thumb to the throat, was for me and I'm sure all the fans who love the boogeyman out there. What a great athlete. And He's had so many great wins here on TV, in the arenas around the country. The man has become quite a legend here on World Championship Wrestling. Jimmy Valiant working on the arm, takes him down by the mask. On the program here today, we'll see. Brad Armstrong, Bob Armstrong, Dick Murdoch, Ivan Kolov, Vladimir Pietra, the World Tag Team Champions, Rick Rude and the Raging Bull. Also, the Rock and Roll Express. Mike Rotunda is back with us, and we'll talk with him. Valiant now threatening to take his mask off. And also, as we said, a big eight-man tag team match featuring members of the Four Horsemen in a gigantic match. That's all here today. Barry Windham and many others. And then, of course, the incident we talked about with Ron Garvin, and we'll show you that later on. Hey, hey, one more kiss, buddy. One more kiss. Valiant. Right again, below the chin, Jimmy Valiant. Down the arm of Thunderfoot number two. And now doing a little bit more than pulling on the arm. Good takeover, Valiant right with the head. You look at Valiant's style and the way he wrestles in the ring, obviously does not worry about a rule book. Or what he has to do. And to call it, take off the mask. And now, Thunderfoot number two can do nothing because he can't see. Finally back. Fans want to remind you of the Jim Crockett Senior Memorial Cup Tag Team Tournament coming up your way April 10th in the 11th Baltimore Arena. A couple of weeks. We will see all 24 teams take a look at the seeding, top 10 seeds, and all the teams in that tournament. More than likely, Thunderfoot number one and number two will be in it. 
And, of course, Jimmy Valiant. The fans chanting, we want the mask! Scrappy McGowan, our referee, wanting Jimmy Valiant. Right hard of the turnbuckle. Valiant with that claim of his would take a good look at Thunderfoot in the pain he's going through. And Valiant with that claim that he can beat him anytime he wants. And there's no doubt about it that Valiant has been taking care of Thunderfoot number two. Over and over again. It's the match. There's his elbow. Out of the ropes. Then the elbow drop from Valiant. There's your winner, the boogeyman, Jimmy Valiant. And it was all Jimmy Valiant for the opening bell for the win over Thunderfoot number two. Let's watch him once again. The winner of the match, Jimmy Valiant. Two great things about Jimmy Valiant. Sensational wins every week here on TV. And my chance to get to talk to the one and only boogeyman, Jimmy Valiant. What are you listening to here? You hear what they saying, Tony? Yeah, they're sick people, Jimmy. They saying, give somebody some sugar. Now, I don't know who you want me to give sugar to. Oh, Tony. Tony Shavato, don't be looking around there, brother. You looking for somebody else, huh? I was looking for David. You got a shirt or something, man. You know, uh, we might do a little uh, smooching, huh? All right. You know, Tony, the boogie man's been up all night long. The boogie man went to a boogie woogie party last night. I heard the milkman at the door. Tossing and turning. Tossing and turning. Boom, 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 boom. Get a job. Yeah, baby, I feel good today, man. I want When I get done here, when I get done here, I'm going to Gainesville, Georgia. And when I get done with Gainesville, I'm going home and I'm going to hibernate. I'm going to sleep three or four days, you understand? Yeah. Then I'm going to get up and I'm going to do me about four or five hundred push-ups. Yeah. I'm going to squat about four or five hundred pounds. Now, I don't want to brag or nothing, you understand? Because my mama didn't raise no braggers. But I can squat with four or five hundred pounds, maybe only 12, 13 times, you understand? Well, I'm going to get in good shape, the boogie man is. And then I'm going to find me a partner, and I'm going for the Crockett's Cup, baby. The Crockett's Cup, yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to give my proceeds if I win with my partner. He can do anything he wants with his. I'm going to give my proceeds to my peoples. I'm going to divide it to the shut-ins that the people's out there. I'm going to divide it to the crippled children, the boys club, the YMCA, the UMCA, and the YWUMCA. You understand? All them letters I, I'm involved with, baby. I get to town early and I go to see my people. All my little people, you understand? All right, you want me to kiss Tony now? Oh. We gotta go. We'll see you in just a minute. All right.